Thanks so much for checking out Sortly. In today's video, we're going to cover how to add item variants into the system. Now, adding an item variant is going to be very useful for items such as clothing and other materials that may have variations to it that you kind of want grouped together through a single item. Now, to add an item variant, all you have to do is begin by adding an item, clicking the Add New button at the top, and then we can click on Add Item. Now, you can either go through the quick add here by adding an item name and then clicking on or toggling on the variant option here, but I'm going to click on the Show All Fields to get a more expansive view here. So I'm going to click Show All Fields. It's going to take me into this view here specifically. And at the top of the page, I'm going to be able to go in and add an item name. So I'm just going to work with a t-shirt in this example. This will make it very easy to follow along for the variants. Now, all the information here you can go in and add. One thing to highlight is the quantity specifically. If you do have a specific unit of measure, you'll want to select that now. Um, but the quantity can be adjusted for each item individually, and I'll show you exactly what that looks like in just a moment here. So if I want to toggle on variants, I'm going to go down right below the QR code barcode field here, and I'm going to click on this item has variants and toggle that on. Now you'll see that there's an attributes and options section here. So if we click in the drop down, we'll see that Sortly has provided you with four different options by default. But if you want to add your own option, simply type into the attribute field and, and you can add any custom field that you want to there specifically. One thing to keep in mind is that the attributes are going to be, need to be created initially. You can't go back and create them at a different point in time. Um, you can, however, change the options. So let's say you started with a couple different colors. You could always expand that colorway on your side of things in the future. But the attributes are permanent, so do keep that in mind on your end. So I'm going to work with the preset options that we have here. I'm going to work with size, and I'm going to do small, medium, large, and we'll do XL. And then I'm also going to add another attribute, and this one's going to be for color. So I'm going to type in red, we have white, blue, black, yellow, green. So you can see that we have all these different variants that have been built out for us in this example. Now we could add another attribute, but to keep it very simple, I'm going to keep it in this manner here. Now what is going to happen here is instead of you having to create each item individually within the Sortly application, this is now going to create four items in red, four in white, four in blue, etc. So now we have six total items with four uh, different size options. So we're gonna get 24 unique individual items that are gonna work with us in this setup here specifically. Now I can go in and fill any of these additional fields out such as the custom fields or fields up above before I decide to proceed in this sample here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. This is now gonna bring up a view for us that's gonna show us all the different variants here. And again, we could still add additional options into this field if we wanted to. We could continue adding those and those variants would be added below. We can also add an attribute. So if we wanted to add one more attribute, we can. And this is the last area you would be able to add an attribute before the item is ultimately generated. Now you'll see in this variant view here, you have all the different variants that are available to you. So we have all the different sizings and all the different colorways. So we can simply click into the different fields. We can begin adding different quantities to these items, updating the quantities as needed for the setup here. And you'll have access to make adjustments to all these items in the future as well. Um, we can just begin adding different quantities to these items as needed on our side. Once everything looks here, we're gonna go ahead and hit the add button. That's then gonna go through the process of creating this item with variants for us with all the different variations. So instead of you having to create 24 items individually, this will create all of those variants for us in one single motion. And you'll see we have 24 items that were created. You saw that little green banner. So you can see this layout here. So if you hover over the item or if you're not hovering over it, you're gonna see that there's 24 variants available. Now, if you don't wanna view it in this view, if you would rather have it in a unsummarized view, you can simply untoggle the summarize options here. Now, if you do that, that's gonna give each individual item its own unique item essentially. Now they're all still grouped together and you'll notice that by this little indicator down below, but if you want to see the items individually mapped out like this, you can simply toggle off the summarized items. Now if you wanted to go in and update that item or add additional variants, all you have to do is click into the item or click on the variants field specifically. This is going to pull into the item variants view and you'll see the variants are up here. So the variant details are right here at the top of the page, so you'll be able to see this. You can't edit any of these details, you can just rename the attributes, but if you wanted to add a new variant here, you could go into the system and click Add Variant, and then from here we could add another colorway or another size. So I could go in and put XXL as an example, and I could add a colorway of, let's say, purple. So basically this will allow me to add additional variants. Let's add a quantity of 85, and then I'm gonna click Add. 
Now this will add an additional variant and we'll see that purple has now been added to this view here. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the uh, different variant that we've offered, which is the purple shirt in the XXL format. So you can add up to 100 variants of a specific item. Um, you'll have the ability to add as many variants as you want in that manner, um, but it will cap out at 100. So do keep that in mind. Variants are gonna be very useful, again, for that clothing use case. Uh, if you have parts or other inventory um, that has variations to it, such as like copper piping or things of that sort, you know, variants can be a good tool to, to kind of replicate or build that out accordingly. And again, it makes your inventory look pretty clean. If you go to uh, the items tab, you can see it in more of a summarized view, which is what we have enabled here. Or if you want to toggle off the summarized view, you can simply untoggle that here. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at soilly.com. Thanks so much for watching.